Thank you, Jesus. Amen. This is another day. Amen. That the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I tried sad, sad didn't work out too good. Hurt my bones. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. O oh, gracious Father, we come approaching your throne of grace through your son Jesus. Come another way to come. First of all, we just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you for your loving kindness, your mercy. Thank you for your goodness and your stretched out hand to deliver, Lord, and let the captives go free, Lord. Lord, we pray for wisdom this afternoon, knowledge and understanding concerning your word, O oh Lord. God, we pray that we don't add nothing to your word. God, we pray that we won't take anything away from your word. That we're right and divided, Lord. Help us to do this confession, Lord. It's in life and death. It's in the power of our tongue. Know that love it, shall eat the fruit there. We pray for the president, Lord, and those in authority, Lord, the Democrats, the Republicans, Lord. Let there be peace in the White House. Let there be peace in our house, Lord. Those who are not saving that White House will be saved, Lord. Those who are not catamount saving our house, Lord. Save them, Lord. We ask in the name of Jesus, O God. Those are the sick, Lord. Amen. In their bodies, Lord. Have mercy on our souls and help us, Lord. In Jesus' name, O Lord. You say with your stripes we heal. With your blood we're cleansed. We're sanctified. Amen. By your word, Lord. In Jesus' name. Everybody said, Amen and Amen and Amen. Amen. Proverbs 18 and 21 says, Dead in life, on the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit there. So you and your seed are going to live in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. By speaking something, we're going to speak Favor, salvation, healing, prosperity over our lives. In Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. We're going to declare it in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. When you say this, it's going to start happening first. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, the moment we declare it, it's going to start happening first. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Bless myself, Lord. I'm getting full now. Thank you, Jesus. My God, my God, my God, my God. This is going to start happening for us in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. We confess that the favor, salvation, healing, and prosperity of God surround us like a shield in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. We expect doors open. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we expect people to call us on the phone, and we get a blessing. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we decree from this moment forward, we see ourselves the way God sees us. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we are highly favored of the Lord. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we are crowned with glory and honor. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we are the righteous of God. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we are reigning as a king in life. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Now, in Jesus' name, we decree by faith that we walk 
and divine favor, salvation, healing, and prosperity that we have in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. We have supernatural increase in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. We have the act of returning something to our former owner, which is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to the believers and doers of the word, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we have the state of being in part or famous, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we have our request granted, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Laws change that man has made, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Policies and rules change that man had made, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God. And that is one. We do not have to fight in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Why? All because of the name of Jesus and his blood, the blessing and the favor, salvation, healing, and prosperity of God is on our life in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. When we arrive, we expect favor, love, mercy, grace, goodness, healing, salvation, and blessings as with a shield. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, and pleasures forevermore, doors are now open. Thoughts in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God that man said impossible to open. No obstacles can stop us in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. No hindrance can delay us in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. We're honored by our Father, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, and receive genuine favor, love, mercy, grace, healing, goodness, salvation, and prosperity that comes directly from God, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, was special to him in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God with half of his eye in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God were blessed and highly favored. Love, mercy, grace, goodness, salvation, healing, and prosperity in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Amen. So be it. Right now, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Now concerning wisdom and guidance, the spirit of truth abided in us. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, and teach us us all things and guide us in all truth. Therefore, we confess we have perfect knowledge of every situation, every circumstance that we come up against in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. We have the wisdom of God now in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we trust in the Lord with all our heart, 
We lean not to our own understanding. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, all our way, we acknowledge him. He that wreck our path, the rod will perfect that, which concerning us. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, let the word of Christ dwell in us richly. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, where Redeemer the Lord, whatever we say is so, angels are gone around right now, and they're working on bringing the pie everywhere that is in God's word that is coming out of our mouth. Hallelujah! That is the highest praise in Jesus' name. And by the blood of the Lamb of God, we'll put off the old man, which we renew in the knowledge after the image of him that created us. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we have received the spirit of wisdom, revelation, and the knowledge of him that created us. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, will not conform to this world, but transform by renewing of our mind. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, the joy of the Lord is our strength. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, the shalom of God, the holiness of God, the peace of God, which passeth all understanding to keep our hearts and mind through Christ Jesus and by the blood of the Lamb of God, pure, perfect, loving, and of good report, I thank on these things in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we we'll let no corrupt communication proceed out of our mouth. That which is good to edify in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God, they administer to the hearer in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. We grieve not the Holy Spirit of God but by will seal unto the day of redemption. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we speak the truth by the word of God. In love, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we grow up in the Lord Jesus Christ. In all things, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, no man, woman, children, or anything shall take us out of his hand. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we have eternal abundant life. Now, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we let the peace of God the holiness of God, shalom of God, rule in our hearts. We refuse to worry about anything. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we cast our cares on God, because God cares for us. Care, go now. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we will not let the Word of God depart from my eyes or from my ears. For His life to us, we have found it. It is help, healing to all our bodies. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, God is, in, is on our side. God is in us now. In Jesus' name, 
and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Who can be against us? He has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Therefore, we are partakers of the divine nature in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. We are believers and not doubters. We believe these signs do follow us in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. We cast out all demons. We speak with new tongues. We lay hands on the sick and the sick do recover in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. We are anointed in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Jesus gave us the authority and the power to use his name. And when we bound on earth, is bound in heaven. Satan, we bind you in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. You are bound. And we loose on earth. It's loose in heaven. In Jesus' name. And by the blood of the Lamb of God. Heaven is backing us up. We bind sin, sickness, disease, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft. Hatred, fairness, immolation, wrath, strife, sedition, hearses, envying, murdering, drunkenness, and reverence, all of us in this flesh. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, heaven is backing us up. We lose salvation, healing. Prosperity, love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we loose the gifts of the Spirit, fatal with God, man, woman, children, spiritual blessings as in heavenly places, as in Christ Jesus, the fear of God, humility, great riches, and honor, and life. God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. The only spirit of fear we should have is of God. Heaven is backing us up, and we prosper be in help. Even our soul prosper. For all the promises of God. Yes. And amen. We are tithers. Your word said. As you rebuke. The devour. For our sake. Open the wonders of heaven. For the blessing. In Jesus name. And by the blood of the Lamb of God. Angels. Go now. Bring forth our harvest in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Go now. Bring forth our promotion. We walk in the favor, salvation, healing, and prosperity of God. Covenant of the Holy Spirit. Favor cometh in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Promotion cometh in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Prosperity cometh in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Abundant life cometh now in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Angels, go bring in our harvest. By the words that we have spoken. Go and bring it to pass. 
Now, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we're completing Jesus, who is the head of all principalities and powers, world workmanship, credit in Jesus unto good works, which is our name. And we should walk therein. Victory in Jesus, Bible said the center. We'll experience the miracles in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Every member, every partner, every servant, every condition will be filled with people, regardless how many services we command one million to come now from the north, south, east, and west in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. To victory in Jesus. Bible said to shout out, diligently, dedicated, committed, sold out, tied us, on fire, anointed, ballot carriers, they were stumpers, believers, now, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, bring the hurt, bring the sick, bring the poor, bring the depressed, now she be healed and delivered in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. In the name of Jesus, we press forth a trillion followers coming to victory in Jesus. Bible said to shut out. Now, in Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God, a million partners coming to victory in Jesus. Bible said to shut out. Now, in Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, all budgets, all conditions are met forever. In the name of Jesus, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, over and above. In the name of Jesus, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we declare increase anointing on our lives. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we're redeeming the Lord. Whatever we say is so. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God, we have said it. And it is so now. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Hallelujah! That is the highest praise. In Jesus' name, and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Man, give the Lord a hand clap, man, for the confession. Hey, Amen. As well, we on Friday we teach our mouth. Of course, seven days a week we do it. But on Friday we got a special day, and we set aside. Hey, Amen. Bless God to uh, train our mouth to say the right thing. And we want to do it, Lord. Hey, Amen. After this day, seven days a week, Lord. Hey, Amen. Bless God in the name of somebody know around here in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless God. We didn't have prior. We're going to go straight. Amen. We're going straight into the Word of God. We want to deal with a subject. Amen. Good, good to see you, Brother Mike. Amen. Being in the house of God. Thank God for our brother. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Give him a hand clap. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for Brother Mike. Being in the house. Thank you, Jesus. We want to deal with faith. Faith is, um, is a strong, uh, unshakable belief. Uh, faith is a strong and un unshakable belief. And something, especially without proof, you ain't got no proof of it. All evidence, you just got his word. <laughs> Sometimes that's all you got. Sometimes all you got for faith is, is what his word said. Hey, man, bless God. So you got to live by faith, not by sight. You can't see this thing. Hey, Amen. The Bible said, now faith. If it says a thing hope for, the evidence of things not seen. You can't see it. So we wanna, we're going to deal with this, amen. We're going to run out of time before we run out of word, amen. Bless God. So the opposite of faith is doubt, fear, and unbelief. That's the opposite of faith. Now either you're on, the, on the one side of faith or you're on the other side of faith because there's the opposite side of it. Amen. Come with me now. We're going to page, page 1055. 
Oh, let's go to Romans first. Let's go to page 1232, 10 and 17. At page 1232, Romans 10 and 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I wonder why faith comes that way. When you hear God's word, it builds up your faith. <laughs> That's why it works like that. The more you hear the word of God, the more your faith is lifted up. The more negative stuff you hear, that's the that's less faith you're going to have. So you have to build yourself up, amen, in, in these last and evil days, amen, you have to build yourself up in the word of God, amen. You have to blow the dust off that bottle, amen, open them pages, amen, and build yourself up in God's word. Thank you for the, for the word, Lord. Come in and out of page 1055, as Matthew 14 and 25, page 1055. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Page 1055, Matthew 14, amen, and 25. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. But straightway, Jesus spake unto them, saying, oh, let me go to 26, amen, thank you, Lord. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, "It's a spirit, and they cried out for fear. Now, they know they didn't saw Jesus before, and they're looking at Jesus thinking he's a spirit. Because he's doing what? Walking on the water. <laughs> walking on the water. And this is his disciples, but my God, oh, they're scared now. Oh, that must, that's the first time they've seen him walk on some water. Mm -hmm. Well, they've been walking with him for a while and seen the miracles he did. Mm -hmm. So is anything too hard? For the Lord. Ain't nothing too hard for the Lord. I don't care what's going on out there in that world. I say, get your eyes off of that and get your eyes on Jesus, the one that can help you walk on the water. My God, let me get back over here, Lord. That wasn't in the notes. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Bless God. So he said, uh, But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. He said, Don't, don't y'all fear. It's me. <laughs> I'm just doing a little walking on the water. Oh, you got Jesus, somebody. Lord, he didn't want, he didn't want to decide to be fearful. There ain't no faith in that. There ain't no faith in fear. Uh, look at 20th verse. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. Uh-oh. Peter want to try some of that. If, you, if it's you, Lord, bid me to come. Now watch. I want y'all to catch this now. Peter couldn't walk on the water until Jesus Christ said so. And watch what he said. And he ain't said but one word. And he said, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. So what you think was holding them up? Faith. Faith on what? On, on the word. On the word what? Huh. Come. Oh, yeah, yeah. But my God, God. He walks on the word, come. Ain't no other way you can walk on the water. I tell you what you do. You go try to walk on the water and see how you make it. Now, Peter had some faith that Jesus Christ, that word can hold him up. Till a little trouble come his way. A little trouble came his way and he went under. Don't let, don't let trouble come your way and then you go under and sink. Amen. Because you can't stay up on top if you got doubt and unbelief. You got to have some faith. My God, my God, my God. Where did preacher come from? Hey Amen. But I want to take the zip. 777-03-1375 East Lucas. Thank you. Look at 35. Well, when he saw the wind motion, uh oh, you're looking at the circumstance. The wind kind of violent. He saw the the wind blowing, like people today, they, they're watching a lot of stuff on the news. The coronavirus. Instead of having faith that Jesus is able to keep them in the midst of all that stuff going on. You got to have faith to believe that Christ is able to put a hedge around you. Lord, have mercy, God. That it can't come near you. A thousand shall fall on our side. Ten thousand at our right hand. But it shall not come near us. In the name of Jesus. You can't come here, devil. Can't come here. We ain't gonna allow you to come here. 
Amen. And then if the Lord sent it out, I said, if God sent it out, and it's not the devil, all you got to do is repent, get right with God, and get in Goshen. You know, in the Old Testament, when God sent a plague, there was in Goshen. Did the plague get hold of them? Why not? Because they had God. And then when the Lord sent the last plague, was death. And where the blood was at, the dead angel passed over. So where the blood of Jesus Christ had in your life, the dead angel passed over. My God, my God. It's powerful stuff today. You're dealing with faith and what God can do for you in the midst of a storm. In the name of, somebody know him around here, in the name of Jesus. When he saw it boasting, meaning it was violent, he was afraid. So we notice here, when you become afraid, does faith walk? Go away. It goes See, away. See, that's the opposite of faith. Mm -hmm. See, anything yeah. of fear, that'd be the opposite of faith. Yeah. So without faith, the scripture say you can't please God. So you got to have faith that God, Lord, how much is it? Is around you. He's in you. Lord, how much protection you're keeping you out. My God, my God, my God. You go caught in the mind that all kind of stuff passed through your mind. Oh, yeah. And they even shoot all the fire dogs. That's why you got to call on you some Jesus. Why he try to put fear in you. Mm -hmm. All the fear we need is of God. Anything apart from that that comes in our life, rebuke it. In the name of Jesus. Good to have the fear of God because you don't want to do nothing against him. You know the consequences. So fear is good. The Bible says fear is clean. If you study about the fear of God, you find out how clean it is. And it'll keep you, keep you from doing the wrong thing. In the name of Jesus. Oh, but one thing about Peter. He, he, the Bible says he began to sink and he cried what? The, the Lord save me. The Lord saved me. Now there's another scripture Romans said, who said we call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So Peter knew. He, knew, he had some word. He had some word in him. I said Peter had some word in him. Uh, he, he didn't have enough word in him to keep him on, uh, on that word come, to walk on that word, even though, amen, it's, that the thing looked, looked kind of bad for him. Don't look, like, don't look like he was able to walk on that word of no old. Lord, how much of God keep him up on that water. My God, my God, my God. Uh, let, let's see how long it took Jesus Christ to save Peter. 31 verse. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand, caught him, and said to him, O thou of little faith. Thou what? Really? Little faith. What, you, what, what happened, Peter? Wherefore didst thou doubt? So doubt shrink your faith. Unbelief shrinks the faith. In no way you can stay on top of the water. In no way you can stay against all the storms and things that's coming in this world. Unless you have some faith. Lord, have mercy God. And when they were coming down to the ship, the wind ceased. The wind took all. <laughs> when Peter got back in the ship, uh, even the wind obeyed his voice. They said, what manner of man is this? Even the sea. And the wind obey his voice. I find out, since I've been in this Christian walk 43 years, I don't find out one thing. Ain't nothing in this world that cannot obey Jesus. Sin have to obey Jesus. Sickness have to obey Jesus. Property have to obey Jesus. The devil have to obey Jesus. I don't find there ain't nothing in this world that got power over him. Hey, the devil make you believe he got all that power. He got, he got power when he can be thrown in hell. He got so much power. If he had all that power, how come he got thrown out of heaven? I ain't no way I run with somebody. Hey, Amen. I done studied him. I studied my enemy. Uh, you can do the same thing. Blow that dust off that Bible. Hey, Amen. Open the pages and build up your faith. Faith come by hearing. And hearing, that's it, brother Mike. And hearing the word of God. You got to hear and hear and hear if you want to build it up. You can't hear no one time. Amen. You, I, I guarantee you, you don't, you, you're always hearing something all through the day. Your ear is always listening to something. Ain't that something? Your eyes are always looking at something. Let me get back over here, Lord. That's what that knows. 
Uh, look at 30, 35. And, and they were in the ship came and worshiped him, saying the truth, the heart the Son of God. Yeah, they worshiped Jesus. Oh, yeah, they bowed down before him. Had a word say, yeah, you're the Son of God. Ain't no, ain't no other way. Amen. This can happen like that. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I believe that God raised him from the dead. Amen. And he sits, amen, on the right hand of God. I got all the word of God to back me up. I believe that by faith, in the name of, somebody know over here, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come with me uh, to page 1083. Amen. Page 1083. Page 1083. That's going to be Mark 4 chapter, the 35th verse. Mark the 4 chapter, amen, the 35th verse. Page 1083. 4 and 35. And the same day when even was come, he said unto them, let us pass over unto the other side. Now, know that Jesus Christ, he spoke that. He told the disciples, let us go to the where? The other side. Now, a storm came. A storm came, but the word then went out. So, if God's word say something, don't worry about the storm of life. Have faith in his word that you ain't going to be moved. No matter how the wind blows. What comes that you're going to make it through it all in the name of Jesus. Let's see what happened to the disciples here. Now, here's another, here's another test. Life ain't nothing but a test. Go find out who you are. A lot of people say a lot in their mouth when that little storm come their way. Oh, uh, bless God. Let me get back over here, Lord. Amen. Help him and Andrew Young. Help Victor Jesus. Bible says, the Lord, help us to stand through the storm of life in the name of Jesus. Jesus. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as it was uh, in the ship. And there was also with him other little ships. And there rose a great storm of wind. And the waves beat into the ship. So there was now full. Now you got a ship full of water. God. Jesus, Jesus Christ said the Holy Ship go to, he's sleeping. Because he didn't spoke the word. He, he, he didn't sleep. Uh, and he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow. And they wake him and said to him, Master, cares thou not that we perish? Did the sea wake him up? Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, the disciples woke him up. Yeah. Jesus Christ had a, he said he was sleeping on a pillow. He was, <laughs> my God. I wonder if he had one. I know they didn't have back then my pillow. You know they got the my pillow? As, uh, yeah, they sell them. Oh, yeah. The my, my pillow. Huh? They got my pillow. That was Jesus' pillow. He was sleeping. He had his own pillow. Lord, that must be God. He was sleeping, and the storm didn't wake him, but, but his disciples did. Don't you care, Lord? Don't you care that we perish? That's how Jesus tried to handle that situation with his disciples. 39 verse, he arose, rebuked the wind, and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind and sea ceased, and there was a great calm. You believe the disciples could have did that? They had faith, they would have. You heard what Mike said? If they had faith, they could have spoke to that wind. Had Jesus on board, Jesus in your life. Speak to the thing. He's in you. My God, my God, my God. He's on a ship with you. For the verse, and he said unto them, Why are you so afraid? Fearful. He asked him a question. How is it that you have no faith? Now, those at the first time, be they had but a little faith. Little faith. Now they ain't got, got no what? Faith. They ain't got no faith. So either you're going to have a little faith, no faith. Where is your faith in this trying time? Lord, increase our faith. He had victory in Jesus' Bible, so the Santa. Oh, bless God. 
As a storm rolls, our faith gets stronger, Lord. As circumstances rise, Lord, our faith gets stronger, Lord. In the name of Jesus, rebuke you, coronavirus, in Jesus' name. And by the blood of the Lamb of God, my God, my God. Yeah, heaven better back in yeah, Heaven back in this up. You got heaven back in up. Oh, you got to worry about it. Go, go to sleep. Go get you some rest. Amen. Look at that follow one prayer. And they feel exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? It's good to have Jesus on board in your life. I said, backslider, come on back to Jesus. It ain't getting no better out there in that world because the scripture is going to get worse. Oh, you're going to need some Jesus right out this storm. My God, my God, my God. You need some Holy Ghost. You need the Word of God to build up your faith so you won't doubt with unbelief and go under. If you do, call on the name of Jesus and he'll save you. Amen. Give the Lord another hand clap. Amen. For your God. I say God is an awesome God. Thank God for that word. Come with to page 1090. Amen. Page 1090. That's going to be Mark, the ninth chapter, the 17th verse. Mark, the ninth chapter, the 17th verse. And one of the multitude answered and said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son. We had a dumb spirit. Wherefore he taketh him, he teareth him, and foameth and gasheth with, with his teeth, and pounded away. I spake to thy disciples, they could they uh, that they cast him out, and they could not. Why well, they couldn't cast him out? They had no faith. They had no faith, and then they wouldn't pray in fast. Say this kind. You're gonna see there's a different kind. A different kinds of spirit you deal with in life that you need to pray and fast in life along with your Christian walk with God. You, you have to have that. Amen. And especially at, at these times and stage of life. Amen. As, as a thing is unfolding. Amen. According to God's word. Amen. The book of Revelation. Amen. That's a meat chapter. Amen. So, amen. When you study, amen, the book of Revelation, amen, that, you have to chew that. That's a lot of meat in that. Amen. Bless God. Uh, we done dealt with Revelation before. And we dealt with the seven plagues, man, that's coming on this world. We dealt with it. I chewed it. Amen. It wasn't hard to swallow because I already had been chewed it. You know, in the olden time, what the older people did, they chewed the food for the baby. They ain't had no baby food. Amen. They just started their stuff. Amen. They ain't had no baby food when the first got started. All the people chew the food and then put it in the baby's mouth. So what we do over here, I make sure I chew the food and then put it in your mouth. In the name of, so you can swallow it. Ain't going to be hard to swallow. My God. Where did that preacher come from? Amen. Bell my take the zip. 777-03-1375 East Lucas. Thank you. Oh, bless God. Leah 19, right? He answered and said, and said, Oh, faithless generation. Oh, uh, what kind of generation? Faithless. First they ain't had no faith. Little faith, faith lives. Lord, how much it don't look like they, they hmm. well, what's happening to the disciples here, brother Mike? They ain't got no faith. They ain't got no faith. <laughs> they look like they're growing too much. And it kind of reminds me of Big and Jesus Bible Center. Sometimes they grow, and then they go back down, they grow, and get, help us, Lord. Help, help us, Lord. Help, help, start with me first, Lord, in the name of Jesus. He answered him and said, O faithless generation, how long? Shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. And they brought him unto him, and, and when he saw him, straightway the spirit teared him, and he fell on the ground and wallowed farming. Now, <laughs> when, uh, when these devils saw Jesus, there's supposed to be some strong spirit. When them devils saw Jesus, they come on out of that, that boy. He, 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 the boy hit the ground. He got the wallet and falling at the mouth. The spirits are coming out. See, Jesus Christ whipped the devil in the, in the wilderness. He was on a 40-day fast. Oh, them devils knew him. 
The devil himself tried to try Jesus. <laughs> you see, the devil got some, some running buddies. Amen. He got some running buddies. And so, Lord, how much you got? The devil himself tried and he couldn't win. Now, uh, his running buddies can't win nothing here. Now he up against uh, the devil's running buddies. 21 verse. And, and he asked his father, how long it is go since he came unto him? And he said of a child. Lord, he'd been like that a child. Them devils been in him, tanned him up, farming, uh, cutting himself. Lord, have mercy, God. Lord, have mercy. So the father wanted his son, his son free. His father couldn't set him free. Disciples couldn't do it. So now they got to go to Jesus. Now in time he had cast him in the fire. Lord, have mercy, God. Do him in the fire. And to the waters to destroy him. That devil ain't nothing good. I don't know why people want to run with the devil. Today is Friday. They didn't got their little money. And uh, they already told y'all don't, 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 don't go around all that stuff. And then you, you with your money, you still going to go and, and go around all them folks. And you don't know what them people got. Amen. God is letting you know. All that partying time, they shut the beach down. The youngsters was out there partying. Oh, yeah, they, were, they was out there partying, and they shut the beach down. The beach was clear uh, of all the youngsters. They wanted to have some fun. Ain't care nothing about no uh, coronavirus. They wanted to have some fun. So they didn't care, amen, how much that coronavirus they took to, uh, back to school with them. So they had to shut the, they had to shut the beach down. Lord, that must have gone. Come to somebody. I ain't going away, Lord. You're too great. You're shutting a lot of things down in the name of Jesus. Amen. Heaven is with you, Lord. Uh, look at that 22nd verse. Uh, 23rd verse. Jesus said unto him, If thou can believe, all things are possible to him that what? Mm -hmm. how, how many things? Oh. You want me to look at the word all? Everything. Everything. All things are possible to them that believe. Lord, I believe. And if an unbelief come on, on me, Lord, help me to whip him. So he can't stay here. If you got an unbelieving spirit come on you as a child of God, rebuke him in the name of Jesus. Get out. Get him, get him out your life. Do it quick. Don't hesitate. In the name of Jesus. 24 verse. And straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Have my what? <laughs> See, this powerful stuff here, that verse is powerful. You can believe one minute. You believe in God. Next minute, you ain't got no faith. You got a little trial come your way. A little circumstance came your way. No. Doubt comes in when you got that kind of problem. That's when you slip in. You ought to know when you're doubting. You ought to know when you don't have faith. Rebuke him. In the name of Jesus. Now this man Oh, Jesus, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. That's something else hasn't showed up here. So the man wants to believe without no unbelief. So he asked Jesus, help. Help me, Lord. Watch what he do for the, for the man. Because he prayed. And asked Jesus to help his unbelief. 25 verse. When Jesus saw the people, a man came running together. He rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him and enter no more into him. He told him, don't you come back to this house. I told you everything got to obey Jesus. I say everything. Ain't nothing in this world that Jesus Christ don't have power over. And the spirit cried, Rent him sore. Oh, that devil didn't like that. Lord, how much? Severely. That's what sore means. Uh, convulsion. That's what rent means. And it came out of him, and he was on as one day that they were trying to kill him before he came out that boy. I, I can tell you the devil ain't. The Bible says he come to rob, to steal, and to kill. But Jesus said, I came. That you may have life and that more abundantly. I tell that to Herman. I wake up in the morning sometime. I say, Lord, I want to thank you for an abundant life. I just get full. 
I just get full. I get full because the Lord been good to me. And I said, Lord, I just want to thank you for an abundant life. Lord, have mercy, God. With everything going on in this world, I have a joy. And the peace didn't come from this world. The world didn't give it to me. Guess what? They can't take it away from me. I didn't get it from me. Don't belong. Don't belong to the world. Amen. A lot of folks trying to go to the world and have fun. You need to quit it. You're going to find out they ain't where the fun is at. It's in Christ. It's in Jesus. But Jesus took him by the hand, lifted him up, and he arose. And when he was come into the house, the disciples asked him privately, why could we not cast him out? Lord, we want to know what, we, we tried to get that devil out of there. We, work, we was working on it. Why we couldn't get him out? 29th verse. And he said to them, this kind can come out, come forth by nothing but by pride and fasting. So there's a certain kind that have to, we have to deal with. Amen. I have to have a fasting life. I have to have a praying life. I deal with spirits. I deal with spirits over the jail. Lord, have mercy. I do jail ministry. I deal with spirits here at Victor Jesus Bible Center, Center. I deal with spirits. Amen. Bless God. So I know what Jesus Christ told us to do. Amen. Some folks say it ain't about works. Faith is a what? Fasting is a what? Casting out devils is a what? You got to work it. You got to work it if you want it to work for you. My God, my God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Get the Lord. I said, get the Lord a hand clap the man for the word. I got to watch my time. Amen. I'm going hey, I'm, I'm to run out of time. Amen. Before I run out of groceries. Amen. Come with me now to uh, let's go to page 1162 John 9 and 24. Page 1162. Got so much groceries, I got to watch it. Got to see where my groceries is at. Lord, have mercy, God. John 9 and 24. Then again called they the man that was, what was blind and said to him, Give God the praise. We know that this man is a sinner. What they saying this about Jesus? Because he healed his man on the Sabbath. He called he, the Pharisees called him a what? A sinner. A sinner. We're gonna see how that we're gonna see how this man. This man preached to the Pharisees. Oh, y'all gonna get some out of here. Uh, they didn't like that either. <laughs> they, didn't like, they didn't like the man preaching to him, the one that got his sight back. See, when you get saved and the Lord heal you, you got a testimony. Ain't, ain't nobody on this earth, green earth, can stop you from testifying. Amen. I got a great testimony me. Amen. I always tell it. Amen. What Christ brought me for. And I always was. Amen. I, oh, I was the devil right hand man. I, when, I, when I got saved, he started crying. Let me get back over here, Lord. That went in the notes. Lord, have mercy, God. Uh, 26 right. Uh, then said they to him again, what did he to thee? How open he thy eyes? He answered them, I have told you. I told you already. I asked you the same question. And just like the news on the news, they asked the president, quit. same question over and over. He just said, he approached it a different way. And he said, I just answered that. Lord, that message. Uh, let me get back over here, Lord. He asked them, I have told you already and did not hear. Well, what would you hear it again? Will you also be his disciples? Say, so you're going to be his disciples? <laughs> if I tell you again, Lord, have mercy, God. He had 20 words. He, he preached to them. And they reviled him. Oh, they got, they got mad with him. And said, Lord, his disciples. But we are Moses' disciples. 29 verse. We know that God spake unto Moses. For as for this fellow, we know not from which he is. That is hard. That barrier, you don't know the Son of God. The one that son Moses. <laughs> yeah, the Son of God. Amen. He was, 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 was there. Amen. To the time of Moses. Lord, have mercy of God. That is hard. Amen. The man answered and said unto them, uh, Why herein is a marvelous thing 
that you know not. You mean to tell me y'all know nothing about that? Uh, that's a man preaching that, preaching that a Pharisee, he, he was blind. Now he got his sight. But whence is he? And yet he had opened my eyes. You don't know him? You mean to tell me you don't know the man who opened my eyes? He preaching in a Pharisee. No, we, now we know that God hear not sinners. He's still preaching. But if any man be a worship of God, do he, he will, he will, will he hear? Look at that same word. Since uh, the world again was it not heard that any man opened the eyes of one that was born blind, if this man were not of God, he can do nothing. Oh, the blind man preaching. He got his sight. Watch what the Pharisees say to him. 34 verse. They asked and said to him, Thou art altogether born in sin. And dost thou teach us? And they cast him out. Oh, they didn't like, they didn't like his teaching. Mm. If you look at the ninth chapter, the Bible said, look at 9, nine and uh, 2. Come with me to 9 and 2, page 1161. I show you they didn't know nothing. They didn't know nothing about this blind man. Look at that 9 and 2. And the disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? This man or his parents that he was born blind. Jesus asked that neither had this man sin, nor his parents, that he, but that the work of God should be manifest in him. Now, I know that Jesus Christ said neither one of them sinned. Here the Pharisee said he was born blind because he sinned. Yeah. Sure, you didn't know nothing. How would you like them to teach you something? Lord, I don't want to teach me. Yeah, I don't like they know nothing. Don't let nobody teach me that don't know nothing, Lord. In Jesus' name. And by the blood of the Lamb of God. Oh, oh don't send on me, Lord. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. Bless God. Come with me now. Amen. To page 1084. Amen. Page 1084. That's going to be Mark 5 and 25. Amen. Mark 5. Amen. And 25. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood. Oh, this woman here got some faith here. Twelve years. It's been that long time. And he and had suffered many things of many physicians. And has spent all that she had. And it was nothing better, but rather grew worse. This woman here spent all the money. Ain't had no more money for the physician. Physician couldn't help her. I know a physician. If they can't help you out there, go to this physician. His name is, somebody know him in here. His name is Jesus. This is what this woman had to do. Amen. So if you go, amen, to the hospital, and they can't help you with coronavirus, go to, go to Jesus for yourself. Amen. You can't come here after you get out of that person in the name of Jesus, don't come here. And when she had heard of Jesus came in the press behind and touches his garment, 28 verse, for she said, if I may touch but his cloth, I shall be whole. This is what she's saying with her mouth. Life and death in the power of your what? Your tongue. That's why we do a confession over here. This woman confessed it before she touched Jesus. She said, if I can just touch him, I know I'll be made whole. Can you touch Jesus today? Yes, you can. By faith, you don't see him. Now, faith is the southern thing hope for and the evidence of things not seen. Do you see the wind? Oh, no, you don't see the wind. But you see the effects of it. See, it blowing the leaves, the trees. You feel it if it's cold. You feel it if it's hot. You don't see it. Put an eye dry. Straightway, the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt it in her body as she was healed of that plague. Lord, have mercy, God. She was healed of that disease. That's what the plague is. It's a disease. Coronavirus is a, coronavirus is a plague. It's a disease. That is her. And Jesus immediately gnawed in himself that the virtue was gone out of him, turned him about in the press, and said, who touched my clothes? Who touched me? He asked that question. See, he didn't, he didn't lay hands on this lady. 
She put it out, her hands on him. And the power came out. Dynamos, that's what virtue is. Virtue is Dynamos power. You can test Jesus 24 7. Seven days a week. 31 5. And the disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude throwing thee and saying, Thou who touched me? A lot of folks were around Jesus, but how many believe? Ain't but everybody with this one lady, one woman. How I know it but one woman? It was but one got healed. If they had others believing like this woman, they would have got healed. They got fed sign by and looked around about to see her at, that had done this sign. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him, told him all the truth. I did it, Lord. I'm going to touch you. Oh, but I'm healed. I touch you, Lord. Amen. Bless God. You can touch him today, right now, in the name of Jesus. Touch him by faith. 34 drive. And it said to her, Daughter, thy faith had made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. What made her whole? Touching faith. Of faith. She ain't had no doubt. She ain't had no unbelief in her. She spoke with her mouth and then did it by works. Faith without works is dead. Being alone. That's what James said about it. How, amen, I believe, amen, that you have to put your faith, amen, to work. If you want, if you want this thing to work for you, you can wake, amen, you go to sleep, amen, with Jesus. Wake up with Jesus, and you'll have a peace. Amen, you have a peace, amen, no matter, amen, what the newsman is saying on that television. I say you have a peace, because now you got a relationship, amen, with Jesus Christ, and you got a relationship with his word. Amen, we're not out of time. Amen. Oh, yeah, we're out of time, Lord. We're not out of word. We're to run out of time. Amen. Get a lot of hand clap. Amen. For the word. Amen. Thank God for the word. Amen. We're to run out. Amen. Of 